Hey guys, um, for math today, I'm going to read you a story called Tally O'Malley. And it's um, about a family who loves to use tallies to count objects like we do. All right, and this story is by Stuart Murphy. That's the author. And the illustrator is Cynthia Jabbar. Now, just by looking at this story, do you think it is nonfiction real? Or do you think it is fiction, like a made-up story? That's right. It is fiction. I know it's fiction because this is not a real picture of a little girl. It is a drawing. So, this is a made-up character. Here's our, our little introduction. There's a picture of her family. Her name is Nell. This is Nell. Her sister Bridget and her brother Eric, mom and dad, they went on vacation. And then here's our title page. Tally O'Malley. The O'Malley's were ready to go on vacation. Almost ready, that is. Did you pack the beach towels? Asked dad. Did you lock the back door? Asked mom. Come on, Shamrock, get in, ordered Eric, pulling on the dog's leash. I can't find my sunglasses, said Nell. Bridget, everybody yelled. Hurry up or we'll never get there. Hmm, where do you think they're going? Finally, they were on their way. They had been on the road for almost three hours. When Eric grumbled, aren't we ever going to get there? Ick. Shamrock's breathing on me, said Bridget. I can't find my baseball hat, said Neil. Why don't we play a tally game, asked Mom. I've never thought about playing a tally game in the car, but it sounds fun. Now, if they've been in the, in the car for three hours, how many tallies would we need to keep up with how many hours they've been in the car? Three. And how will we make three? Let's draw it in the air. One, two, three. First, they had to decide on something to count. Let's do cars, said Eric. He loved tally games because he almost always won. Okay, Mom agreed. Pick your colors. I take silver, said Eric. I take blue, said Bridget. How about you, Neil? Red, answered Neil. Red was her favorite color. Eric laughed. You always pick red and you never win, he said. So they picked their color cars to count. Mom handed out paper and pencil. Do you remember how to play, Nell? Asked Bridget. When you see a red car, you make a tally mark. Then make another one for each red car you see. When you're up to three, it will look like this. Like that. When you get to five, you make a little bundle so they're easy to count. Now, what do you and I call it? We call it the dab. So just like this, they bundled them all together. This will be a 20 minute game, explained mom. Ready, set, go. There they are making tallies in the car. And look, they've already got a bundle of five right there because I see that little dab across there. There's a silver one, said Eric immediately. And two more over there. I see a blue one, said Bridget, and another one right behind it. Ha, I see a red one, said Nell. Nell, there's another, said Dad. No helping, yelled Eric. Look at all the cars. You know, when you're on the road or on the interstate going somewhere, you could count cars and keep up with the tallies. Time's up, said Mom, just as they pulled into a rest stop for lunch. Take a look at their, their sheets. Let's see how many Eric's got. Now remember, if it's got the little dab, that means five, so we can count by fives. Five, 10, 11, 12. Let's see, Neil, there's a bundle of five, so we can say five, six, and then Bridget, five, 10. So how many had, who had the most tallies? Yep, Eric. Dad took Shamrock for a walk while they counted up their tally marks. I win, Eric shouted. I always win. 
You get to wear the tally medal, said Mom. The medal was really a plastic shamrock that Dad had given the dog on her first birthday. You think you're so great, whined Bridget. Tally O'Malley. There he is, holding up his score. The line for hamburgers was very long. I'm hungry, said Bridget. I want ice cream, said Neil. Can I play video games, said Eric. Let's play another tally game, said Dad. What do you think you're going to count this time? Let's see. We can't count cars here, said Bridget. Let's do t-shirts. Yellow, called Eric. Green, called Bridget. Red, called Neil. Eric laughed. Red never wins, he said. The line moved forward an inch at a time. They counted every t-shirt they could see. Look at all the different color t-shirts in line. I see lots of green. All right, let's look at their score. There's Eric. I don't see a bundle, so let's see how many yellow. One, two, three, four. Nail. There's no bundle, so it's just by ones. One, two. And then Bridget. Oh, I see bundles of five, so we can count them by fives. Five, ten. So who won this time? Bridget. It's almost our turn, said Dad. Game's over. Add up your marks. I win, shouted, or Bridget shouted. Mom took the shamrock medal from Eric and placed it around Bridget's neck. You won't have the tally medal for long, said Eric. Oh, yeah, tally O'Malley, Bridget replied. Poor Nail. Everyone was full after lunch. Eric, Bridget, and Nail slept most of the rest of the way to the beach. Oh, they're going to the beach. Finally, they arrived. They had just gotten out of the car when they heard a train whistle in the distance. Let's count the train cars, said Eric. I picked the black ones. I take gray, said Bridget. Do you want red again, Nell? What do you think she said? Yes, said Nell. It's my favorite. You never learn, said Eric. That's her favorite color, so she picks it every time. Do you think Nell's going to win this time? Let's see. There's the engine, said Eric. It's black. One for me. No fair, said Bridget. An engine's not a car. A red car went by. Then another. Then another. Take a look at Neil's tally sheet. She's already got a bundle of five. Look at all the red cars. Oh, let's look. Eric has how many? Just one. Oh, look at all the bundles of five. So let's count them by fives. Five, ten, fifteen. Now look at Bridget's. One, two, three. The next car was red, too. And the next one. The train rattled past. Finally, the caboose went by. It was red. There were hardly any black cars, said Eric. Or gray cars, either, said Bridget. Let's see those tally sheets, said Mom. Nail wins. So who gets the medal now? Yep, Nail. Bridget handed the shamrock medal to Nail. Then she noticed a sign near the tracks. Look at that, she said. That's why Nail won. Look at the sign. It says, travel the red line. Hey, Nail, that's not fair, said Eric. It seems fair to me, said Nell. So from now on, I want you to call me Tally O'Malley. I like that story. And I like tallies too because it helps us count easier and faster. Remember, when you have a bundle of five, we can count by fives. Look at the one on the front. Five, ten, fifteen. Now you and I can count by fives together. You ready? Get your hands out. We're gonna kind of give ourselves high fives as we count by 10, or I'm sorry, by fives. You ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, 115, 120. Good job. Kiss your brain. Great job, guys.